Alrighty guys, so, um, I don't know where I put the copper, <laughs> let me go grab it, <laughs> oh yeah, I left it back there, so, um, I'm just going to grab a uh, needle nose uh, while I'm over here, because I may have to squeeze, uh, do some squeezing on, uh, couple of this on this copper so what I did was uh, I got it taped up and I'm just gonna squeeze this section a little straighter because they kind of frayed out a little bit doing like a mushroom cap deal or something on me These ones are super straight, so I may put those on the top first. Hopefully. Give them a little twist. Now, this one is going to be a problem because I have to get rid of some strands to make it fit. Um, it's a little redonkulous because they don't make these connectors big enough on the MPPT charge controllers for whatever reason. Um, pretty annoying. Ooh. Okay, so we got some more strands that I gotta take out. make this work. I want to see how far up I can go as well on the MPPT connection because that all matters you know. Okay that's as far as I can go so um, I'm gonna have to trim off quite a bit on the ends and on these strands which is gonna suck. But is what it is in order to make it work. So, on Zoom. I'm just going to cut off all the strands off the sides. To make it be actually the size I need to fit inside said connector which is really pain I shouldn't have to do this guys if the manufacturers would make connectors large enough it's um, it's quite pathetic in my eyes and this my wrist my one wrist is like pooched I this has no strength today. Got to get on the old uh, RSO again someday when the crop finishes. <laughs> Do some mega healing. Mega healing. Okay. Now, I want to just see what the bottom connection is going to be like as well. And looks like I'm going to have to bust out some strands on that one as well. The length is perfect, but just got to trim off some strands here on this one again. And then the top one I'm just going to shorten up. And then we'll have power again at the tiny house when I activate it. And shouldn't have a bunch of nonsense. Thanks China. You're a real piece of work. No quality control there. I can tell you that. Alright, so now for the top 
long hauler up here. I'm gonna kind of spread things out evenly like a brush and then I'm gonna trim off a good amount um, so I have the length to get it in there let's say Ooh, that's gonna be tough to do so I'm just gonna trim off like a haircut on this thing and then I'll be back okay guys now I apologize for the crappy lighting guys but um, is what it is at this point so trying to get this to work and of course it's taking me forever to get a job done because you know It'd be nice to have the proper tools. Now, I can't leave it like this because this base is metal and that would conduct. So I have to continue to trim this crap out of the circuit. Uh, and it's a nightmare with the crappy little side cutters that I have. So, yeah, wonderful. Donate today, guys. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, so I'm going to attempt this. I had to wrap the bottom with um, uh, a whack ton of electrical tape. And I hope I'm long enough um, when I crank down this fitting onto the copper hopefully I have enough inside to make a proper connection and I don't oh man yes yeah, Stu is there any better friggin charge controller that has a ginormous and I mean ginormous bus bar to connect to instead of this ridiculous nonsense because Stu has this exact same dealio and uh, yeah he's told me the issues as well it's almost like it's not long enough what the hell because I got to get up to here basically. I still have lots of give here from the below. It's not like my wire's short, but how the hell do you get your connection all the way through that little gap? I wonder if I can cut this out or something. So pathetic. These should be like three times this size, guys. This is pathetic. This is not good at all. Not good, not good, not good. Pretty pissed off right now. So, yeah, I got the copper. Now it's trying to get it in there. And I know when I first tried doing this, it was a nightmare as well. So I really don't, I don't understand how they can make stuff like this. It's like literally garbage garbagio so yeah I gotta be like I'm gonna have to trim down to here just to get enough copper up inside of this thing for it to clamp down onto it pathetic 